Hey everybody, it's Zero here. Um, I'm just going to give an update to uh, give some further details into the uh, video I made yesterday about the uh, OS uh, Awenden emulator for the PC. Basically, this is the website uh, where you download it. I have a link to it uh, in the uh, previous video. And on the home page, all you do basically is um, click where it says up at the top, download. It's the third link over on the top. And um, you want to click on the, uh, the setup installer, which is down here at the bottom of the first paragraph. You want to save that and install it. And then uh, if you do end up wanting to use a, do end up uh, wanting to use skins, uh, just download the, um, the OS updater, which is up here at the top of the paragraph. Just um, run that after you've installed the game and uh, it'll add the ability to use skins and you can pick which skins you want on the list. Um, also this uh, game does require a 2002 or newer graphics card uh, so it doesn't work on my computer downstairs that's why I'm using K-Chan's computer. But this is basically what the website looks like and then the fourth link over here at the top uh, the fourth link over next to the download link is uh, the beatmaps link and as you can see it lists um, a bunch of different names of songs and who the artist is and what difficulties it's available on uh, easy, hard, uh, insane, normal, whatever they are um, there's tons and tons of ones to download there's looks like about 20 pages right here plus you can go in the forums on this website and uh, there's uh, even more fan made ones there so um, we'll load the game up again real quickly just so I could show you some more stuff about it It just plays one of the random songs that you have downloaded when you when you first open it. Um, we'll go to the edit, or uh, no, we'll go to options, and we'll just put it back on the original skin, just so it's not too confusing looking for everyone. And we'll go to play solo. Um, listen to your heart, that's on hard so I can't beat that one. Inspector Gadget. Um, hmm. Trying to find a good song. We'll do Lazy Town, because I want to be retarded. Now you can see the circles look really plain. They're just colored circles like from a Wendon. Wow, I'm sucking. The sound effects are also the Wendon beats and whistles. So right now I'm just using the mouse, but um, you can use a tablet PC uh, or a, um, a Wiimote if you can sync it with your computer. Okay, so I'm just going to mess up on this now so it ends. Ooh, nice effect there when you lose. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu and we will switch it back to the Wind Waker because I know I showed a little bit of it in the uh, in the uh, last video, but not too much. Um, so we'll go to Wind Waker. Basically, you hear Link scream every time you hit a circle, and it shows a rupee, either a hundred or a three hundred rupee, and uh, it'll say joy and nice, and um, there's little symbols from uh, Phantom Hourglass and stuff like that. Uh, when you do a when you do a, a long bar, a slider, it shows uh, Link's boomerang. I have yet to see what the spinners are for this one, so hopefully I can find a level that's got a spinner in it. Caramel dancing again. We did that one last time. Um, 
Who did Drago start in today? This is a normal, so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. My health meter is uh, hearts, little link hearts. Oh, the spinner is a Triforce and a sword. Yay, I got it right. Okay, that's enough of that. So, wow, I died quickly on that one when I let, when I stopped playing. Um, we look at the little Wind Waker sign post. Um, so this is what the program looks like. It kind of looks like DDR. You can kind of flip through your different songs here, and they pop out, and you can see the difficulties and stuff, and what people's online rankings are. Um, and there's all sorts of different things up at the top where you can pick your favorites, uh, range by artist, title, difficulty, creator, all sorts of things like that. So that's the program, and um, as a, again, here's the website. Um, the link to it is uh, it's uh, not something easy to spell out, so I have the link provided on that last video that I made. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit more in-depth uh, look at it. So in case anybody wanted to download that, just um, down the download the full installer first, and then use the updater. Um, and if it gives you an initializing error, it means that uh, you uh, you have to download something. I forget what it is. It tells you in the FAQ. If you get if you get a certain error, it just means you need to download some other part first. But they give you the link to that. So hopefully it should work on everybody's computer that tries it, and uh, it's really fun. So uh, go download it and use it because it's really cool.